Hello fellow firecrafters. Welcome to my backyard. It's May 12th, 2020, and I wanted to show you a little fire making project that I've been working on recently. Before I do that though, I want to show you my very first bow drill fire by friction kit. This is my very first bow. I've kept it. It's about, at the end, it's about an inch and a quarter in diameter. It's a lot longer than my arm. I'd say it probably weighs a pound and a half. Real heavy nylon cord. I kept my original kit just for nostalgia's sake. Uh, this is uh, my first footboard or hearth board. It's cut out of red maple. This, by the way, is a sycamore branch, a, a, a branch I fell, a, a cut from a fallen limb at uh, Camp Ransburg probably about four years ago. This is my thunderhead. It's made out of a piece of uh, dogwood. Nice big deep divot in it. And this is my original spindle, cut from the same log that I got my footboard. This is red elm as well. It's about a foot long, also probably at least an inch in diameter. It's quite large. Pretty big set, but pretty typical for first efforts. I made my first fire by friction 15 minute fire at the firecrafter shelter at Camp Ransburg. Did it fair and square with this kit, and I kept it. This is my most recent bow drill kit, and it's a little bit shorter than my original spindle. It's a little bit wider maybe, but it's a little bit shorter. The whole kit is in this case. This case is uh, made for a uh, life straw water filter. It's just a zipper case, comes with a nice carabiner. I think I paid $9 plus a little bit of tax on Amazon. Inside, here's my Thunderhead. Just a piece of uh, white-tailed white deer antler. Cut a little divot in the fat end. Here are a couple of my spindles. This one's made out of horseweed. And this one is goldenrod. They originally started out maybe five inches long. When you're working with a mini bow drill kit, you don't want a really long spindle because the spindles will tend to flex and ultimately break. So I found that uh, starting spindle lengths about five inches long work pretty well. Here's a couple of uh, spare spindles <laughs> that I put in my kit. This one is a golden rod and this one is a horseweed. My footboard is just a piece of uh, white pine that I cut from a uh, dead branch that I dragged home with me a few months ago. I've already uh, burned in and notched a divot here that we'll use in a few minutes. And I'm gonna use my uh, horseweed spindle. And here is my bow. My bow is uh, about an eight inch, eight and a half inch length of uh, honeysuckle. And I cut a little notch on the upper end. My, uh, my bow string is just a piece of 550 paracord. I tied a figure eight stopper knot in the upper end, slips in like that, tied off some uh, uh, spare cord at the bottom, finished it off with a clove hitch. All fits nicely into my little kit. Got a piece of leather and a oops, piece of a milk jug to catch my amber. If I, man, if I manage to get an ember, I've got uh, a little bird's nest here, just some uh, pine needles and some cattail down. Let's give it a try, see if we can do it. Now one thing I've noticed when I've worked with these mini bow drill kits 
is that it takes a little bit longer in some cases to generate an ember and generate dust. And that really has to do with two reasons. One is my bow is pretty short. The usable length of the bow is shorter than my hand. It's about five to five and a half inches long. So instead of having a really long two foot bow stroke, I've got a, a few inch bow stroke. That's one thing. And then secondly, unlike with a full size bow drill kit where pressure is a premium, you want to use really gentle, light pressure, almost just enough pressure to keep the spindle balanced in the, in the hearth board's divot. Um, so the gentle pressure in the short bow stroke sometimes uh, causes it to take a little while to generate enough dust to create an ember. But, so be persistent and be patient. Let's give it a try. All right, like I said, it takes persistence. It's slow to generate dust. We created a nice big ember there. All right. We got some gusty wind out here tonight. My son Gabriel, the videographer, is helping me out. All right, let's see what we can do.
My needles don't want to light tonight. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Took a while. Took a while. <laughs> well, it took a little while to get those uh, pine needles to flame. I don't know why. But uh, anyway, there's a lot smaller uh, bow drill kits that you'll find on the internet and on uh, YouTube, but this is the smallest one that I've had any practical success with. Some of them are so small that they uh, seem to be more novelty items than anything else, but I think that's a fairly reliable kit. Uh, hope you give it a try and make your own mini bow drill set. Have a good night.